An out update to a story we've been following out of Los Angeles. The police union is now suing the police chief and city after undercover officers' personal information and photos were released online. More than 9,000 officers were impacted. Correspondent Nancy Liu has been following the story from the very beginning. Nancy, are we? what are we learning about this new lawsuit? Well, Nicole, this new lawsuit essentially demands that the city and LAPD take legal action to stem the fallout from this information scandal. The union claims it's the least they could do, given what's happened and growing safety concerns among the rank and file. Go to court, take all legal actions to claw back or take back the photographs and names of our officers that are out there that shouldn't be out there. That's the goal of this new lawsuit, the L.A. Police Protective League versus the city of Los Angeles and its chief of police, Michael Moore. Though, according to the union, much damage has already been done, even if there is a clawback of information. This will not be a perfect solution, but unfortunately, it's the only solution. And we, on behalf of our members, will take uh, whatever action we can in, in attempting to force the city to get back to court. It's been two weeks since LAPD acknowledged what it called an accidental release of photos and personal information of more than 9,300 officers in response to a public records request. We recognize that homicides devastate communities. At a Tuesday news conference, Chief Moore touted the city's lower murder rate, but he has yet to publicly respond to the new lawsuit. In a separate case last week, the union succeeded in getting the Killer Cop 1984 Twitter account suspended. It had allegedly weaponized the information, offering bounties on officers of up to $2,000. But Watch the Watchers is still up. The website incorporated the information released to create a searchable database. Yes, I have. I've gone undercover and purchased narcotics in the past, as well as other investigations. The fallout has officers who work undercover second-guessing assignments and questioning why some officers in internal affairs were not part of the release. They're dismissing the chief's apology, and skepticism abounds over what he knew and when. I think this is something that would be an obvious, if, if you ever release photos, um, you would think that the chief would know about it. So for the chief to say he doesn't know about it, I, I just don't believe it one bit. Now, Chief Moore and the LAPD did not respond to a request for comment, and the L.A. City's attorney's office responded with a no comment. Separately, we are hearing that hundreds of officers are now considering a class action lawsuit. Nicole? All right, Nancy, thank you for that. Thank you for watching. Go to NewsNationNow.com to find NewsNation on your television provider. And don't forget to click the red subscribe button below to get more of NewsNation's fact-driven, unbiased coverage.